Hello fellow X-Files aficionados, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and here is my review of the 11th episode of the first season of the X-Files, this being simply called Eve. Hey Joel, swing set's supposed to be for your daughter, not for you. This episode takes Mulder and Scully to Greenwich, Connecticut, where a perfectly healthy man has been found dead with two strange incisions in his neck. Mulder has a theory that there could be a connection between this and allegedly alien experiments performed on cows. Not long after a duo has arrived in Greenwich, they get the word that there was also another similar death all the way over in Marin County, California. Despite the long distance, the similarities of the death are incredible, and it gets even stranger when it is revealed that both dead men each had a little daughter who look identical to each other. Tina? No. What's your name? Cindy Reardon? Mulder and Scully get started with investigating the past of these two identical young girls, and are led into a big mess containing old gene experiments that give people an extra chromosome, which again gives a higher level of intelligence, strength, but also psychosis. While unraveling all of this, a woman kidnaps both the young girls, and now Mulder and Scully has to both try to hunt them down, while at the same time try to figure out what exactly the identical children are, and how they were created. Eve is like if the children from the classic horror film Village of the Damned showed up in an X-Files episode. I like that they start out with Mulder having a regular extraterrestrial theory, which gets thrown out quite quickly. It shows that even early on in the show, Mulder's first train of thought would run off into space and aliens, but it also shows that he isn't stubborn and doesn't let it disrupt his investigation. The idea of playing with genetics and cloning is also very fitting for its time. It's a subject matter that got plenty of media attention in the 90s, and feels fitting for use in an X-File. And it's a subject that would return later on in the show in a different manner. Originally, the producer tried to find suiting child actors in Hollywood, but due to child labor laws, they gave up and found some locally in Vancouver, where they did the filming at the time. The two girls that got the job was Erica and Sabrina Krevins, and they do come off as quite creepy with the way they act together. Surprisingly enough, they did not go on to do more acting after this episode. This much is a lethal dose. We cultivated them ourselves. You tell us. You made us. For your mistake. I should also mention that Harriet Harris is great in her parts as Dr. Kendrick and Eve Six. The episode did leave me a bit conflicted, as I wanted more out of her, but that would also mean less of the twins, so I don't know. It felt like there could have been two good episodes out of these characters if they broke them up somehow. The letdown of the episode is that I felt that the story could have been better. I wish we had a better ending to it, as it didn't leave me quite satisfied. There are also some cheap story moving plot devices being used that I didn't quite care about. Like when Mulder first traps the girls after they have tried to escape, only to have them let loose due to a truck driver that doesn't believe that he and Scully are with the government. Overall, Eve's a solid episode. It's not one of my favorites from the first season, but I can understand it if others think otherwise and ranks it higher than what I do. The kids are creepy, Duchovny and Anderson are great to watch, as nearly always, and with a tighter story I would have enjoyed this a bit more. Eve gets the respectable 3 out of 5 excess. Have you seen this episode? How do you rank it? The next episode I got coming up is the burning hot episode 12 called Fire. If you want me to increase the speed of how I release these X-Files videos, then good feedback and that like button does get my attention. If this is the first video of mine that you have checked out, then I do have a review for the first 10 episodes on my channel as well, and there are plenty of movie reviews to be found also. Hope you enjoyed the video, and always remember, the truth is out there. See you next time here on Cinema Terror.